We're gonna rock it. We're gonna put it in our pocket. We're gonna get some taco today. Got the boy back here making it happen. Look at that. My um, whoops. We've been uh, been looking forward for this trip for a while now. Finally got out here, first day of the diving, and we're going out for taco, octopus. When we get back, we're gonna have uh, hopefully multiple octopus to try, see if it tastes like giant squid. So many different ways we can cook this. We can cook it up as dinner, lunch, or breakfast. <laughs> Maybe an appetizer in the mid-afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to the Sunday show. I'm, I'm excited, I'm pumped. Got the diet belt on. Got everything out here in Hawaii, about to go diving right now. I think it's six o'clock in the morning. The sun's barely coming up. Beautiful sunrise. We're out here in Maui. Uh, we're going out for octopus. So I guess octopus tastes like giant squid. I've never had giant squid, but we're gonna go out here, get some octopus, some taco. That's what they say in Hawaii. And uh, we're gonna see if that octopus tastes like giant squid today, so. Let's get into it. Let's go. At sundown, come down, think about where we are. It's a long way, way up to everything that we want. But if we take a moment to be closer, closer to the thing. Try to grab it way too early. They're sucking onto the rock on the inside. Mm -hmm.
to do Let's go. a fatty so we got ourselves an octopus right here some people say it tastes like giant squid i don't think so i think it's going to taste like an octopus myself uh, but yeah here we are so we're just going to do a, a cleaning portion of it the first thing we're going to do is cut the top of his head off right by his eyes just below his eyes yeah right just below his eyes 
Okay, there we go. And then in here, there's a beak. Let me get it out. So this is the beak of the octopus. So what they'll do, basically there's a bottom part right here and a top part right here. And they just chomp things down. And they just grab their prey with their tentacles and push it in the beak and then that's how they eat. So since we have that gone, now all this is edible right here. So what we do is we just salt it up. So I'm just gonna put it in the bowl, toss more salt in there. And then just keep scrubbing until all the slime's off. And you just scrub and scrub. So since I'm doing this, a little bit about Tony and I. We've been fishing in Vegas, born and raised. Been fishing there since we were young little lads. <laughs> so I'm the goofy one, Ricky's the goofy one, Tony's the serious one. But we've been talking about fishing and making that, you know, um, our life for 15 years and really really talking about it for the last 10 the beginning of 2021 we were so sick and tired of just putting off our dreams that we decided to do what we love man what a blessing it is to be out here in hawaii right now crazy you got the sunset going cleaning the taco you know what salty you ain't got nothing on me mm -hmm. what you know about rolling down in the deep like this taco on your feet 15 minutes later, we're almost done. All right, here we are. <laughs> Just eating. I would never do that. I'm so excited to eat these. Oh yeah, so it's not as slimy anymore, but it's definitely salty. <laughs> <laughs> we caught that guy right out there about 300 yards from shore in about 35 feet of water. Put him on your back. Ooh, yeah, turn around. Let me put him on your back. All right, turn around. No. I'm going to put them on your back. We'll I'm wash your put shirt. On my head. We'll wash your shirt. Okay. You're going to be a dreadhead? I'm going to be a dreadhead. Oh, man. Oh, my Look at gosh. that. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so many different ways we can cook this. We can cook it up as dinner, lunch, or breakfast. <laughs> Maybe an appetizer in the mid afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to the Sunday show. This octopus was once very slimy. Then he met the salty twins, he became salty. All right, Rick, quit playing with your food. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you spooked me there. So as you can tell, you've lasted through half of the video and we've already cleaned the octopus. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil it. As it's doing that, we are going to take some fresh Himalayan pink salt that you cannot get anywhere else besides Maui, Hawaii and Costco, Kirkland, of course. We actually went out the last couple days and picked the salt ourselves. We drove about 40 minutes to the other side of the island. And then we, we dried it out. Made in salt the Himalayans, rocks. real quick. So we're just gonna break some of that up. Stir it around just a little bit. As the water boils, it'll break it down even more. Well, look at this view. Rick, show them the view. All right, follow me. Look at this. Look at this view. Come here. So right now the tide's coming up, but as you can see, a lot of rocks, rocks are exposed. But if you can see the little break out there, we were about maybe 100 or 200 yards past that, diving about 30, 35 feet of water, catching the octopus and then a couple others. So we ended up landing three of them. So with the octopus, one of them we gave away, one of them we're harvesting for ourselves and the family, and then one of them we are using for... So out here, octopus is a prize, prize bait, especially the legs, they go for a lua, papio, uh, Chivali. So that's what we're going to be using later on in a couple of days. And then one of the locals was asking us if we ended up getting some extra octopus that uh, he, he would like some. So that's what we did. We ended up giving it to the locals because we feel as though it, this isn't our home. This is a, a, a place where the locals have allowed us to be. So the, the least we can do is give back to them as well as take care of the reef. We ended up cleaning up out there. There were some hooks in line tied up to the, the reef and we ended up grabbing that as well, so. It's basically at a boil. We're gonna turn it down just a little bit. Uh, that way it simmers. And we're just gonna dip the octopus in there and then pull it out. And all we're wanting to do is for those legs to curl a little bit. And I'm sure it's the same with uh, giant squid. If you've cooked giant squid, leave it in the comments. Let us know how you do it. <laughs> but 
It's probably a, a, a little bigger pot <laughs> and a little bigger uh, tongs. And you just keep doing this. Because what you want, they're gonna curl like that. Yeah, it seems a little hot on my fingers, on my phalanges. Look at the curls. You gotta have the curls for the girls. <laughs> and then you get the curls and then you just leave it in there like that. Yeah, that's basically, basically it. We have uh, some Himalayan salt in there. Like I said, there's only one place to get it, Hawaii or any Costco in the entire world. <laughs> and then we wait for five to eight minutes, depending on the size of the taco. This one, after cleaning it, what's in the pot is 1.4 pounds. See how he's curling over himself like that? That's exactly what you want right there. And all we're gonna do, we have a bowl of cold water. We're just gonna dip it in cold water, just like so. Let him cool off for maybe 15, 20 minutes. We're using one tablespoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of chopped green onion. There's one, there's two. The next is roasted black seaweed nori. So we're gonna do one teaspoon. It's been wonderful trying to figure out what style we wanna make as far as the octopus that we're cooking. We decided to do poke because that's close to our heart and that's what we like. Trying new things, having a good time, spending time with family, spending time with the people you love, doing what you love which is fishing for us, that's what we love to do, as well as to share it, uh, be able to bless people, just like we gave we gave uh, octopus to one of the locals, that way they can go and feed their family later on, hopefully as well, so uh, definitely makes us excited. So this is one teaspoon of red chili powder. Okay, that's good. So one teaspoon of the, a dash of some black pepper. That's it and then some chopped up jalapeno. Add a little spice, just like that. So we let it sit in water, the cold water for 15, 20 minutes. Now we're just slicing each one of the tentacles and then we're gonna slice it into taco bites and throw it in the mixture and make some spicy taco poke. And then basically you just take your knife and you slide down at an angle all the way down. So something like that. Are you kidding me? Come on. Look at those. Yeah, you just, you take it and you just go at an angle and you slice down. Try to go as thin as possible. Mm. Like this. Lilia. Yeah? Oh, this is my niece, Lilia. You want to try some? Yeah. Okay. Let me know what you think. Mm, that's really good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> mm. Cool. Definitely got to make sure to please your family for sure. So we're just gonna dump it in. So this ended up being a pound and a half of octopus mixed with the ingredients. We tried going out for the giant squid, but unfortunately there was none showing face today. Yes, none, except for myself. I'm gonna make giant squid. All right, mix this bad boy. I'm gonna mix it. Make some spicy taco poke. Hawaiian style. Lily, you still here? Yeah. Cool. Now try this one. I right, try this. Uh, oh my let gosh, me it know. Smells bomb. Let me know if this is better with everything, or if you like it just by itself. Mmm, I like it like that. Do you? Mm -hmm. It tastes really good. Yeah, it tastes just like the stuff that we buy, except better. Ooh, it's got a little salt to it. Salty <laughs> twins. No. It's good. It is? You like it? It's good. Yeah? Not too salty. I know. It's good. I All like right. it with the stuff. Let's go. Approved. Are you kidding me? What if I hate it? Okay, you just put it in my mouth. You're not going <laughs> to hate it. There you go. You're going to love it. Mmm. I do love you it. Like it? Do you? Oh, <laughs> 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 oh okay. Love it. Yeah, that's good stuff. Ooh. Super sick. We had a plan. We got it done. Excited for the future. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.